All right, traders from around the world, it's your Wednesday real life stock review. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Let's go check out some broader market stuff. The SPY is chilling in a little bit of a trading range, and we're probably going to do that for a while. Obviously, if we take out this resistance, we're just going to absolutely fly, and the bear storm will be over, and the bulls will continue to rampage on. But similar to this little pullback where we did bounce off the 50, we had a secondary rotation before we bounced. Still thinking that we could get something exactly like that, and that would be so beautiful if that's indeed what occurs on the SPY. Q's, mm, a little bit more bearish right now with the close below this lower shadow. Again, your moving averages are starting to curve down some, so that'll be interesting to see what happens. Apple today, my buddy Justin has a put sale on Apple at 112.50 for this Friday, wants to get some shares. And again, Apple's just kind of hanging out. It's one of those very, very common, just like Tesla, buy the rumor, sell the news. So when the news does actually come out, it oftentimes is a good spot to be a little bit more patient and let Apple come back down to you. So again, would love some Apple down in these gaps around the $100 price range. If we get down to that range, will we? I don't know, but you all know that I went into cash on open on September 2nd. So this is a nice pullback. I mean, it's around the 20% range. I would like to go farther, personally. I think it'd be phenomenal to get down here about the 27%. So I'm still kind of waiting out, seeing what Apple's gonna do. But in this area, if you're picking some up, just pick some up with small positions. Today, I kind of day traded like a seagull that ingested too much Alka-Seltzer. Let's talk about what I did wrong and what I did right. So Alibaba, beautiful gap. Everything was solid on this trade. I just played it a little too aggressively. I played it on a one minute chart and you all know one minutes are not my time, uh, my, my main time frame. Could have done better, just have my stop too aggressive. So here's your one minute, two minute, you know, first two minute candle. So the entry was pretty much here. Stop was right about there. And I left that trade open, got filled on that, and then got stopped out, literally wicked out, and then it just bounced and ran into my target. So that was kind of lame. If I was looking at the two minute or playing something a little bit more conservative, I think I could have won on it. Uh, so this is the two minute chart with this little candle coming in here. And then bear candle, bear candle. I mean, I should have gotten in there with the stop right there. So I just had my stop way, way too aggressive on Baba, didn't get back in, although I did get trapped on the position. And I was gonna sell everything at 283 anyway. So, c'est la vie, lost on Alibaba. Then went to play Tesla um, on a potential breakout pattern. So if I look at a five minute chart, I got trapped on a little bit of a Tesla breakout, which again, perfectly fine. But this is the setup right there. Really nice bear candle, like a little bit of a hammer, followed by an upper shadow, bear candle, bull candle with a nice little lower shadow, and then an inside bear candle. So the way I played it, entry here, stop there. Was a little aggressive, was expecting maybe, just maybe this is a one, two, three, four, five. That's what I was planning on, but did not work out that way. Did lose on Tesla wow, in about six minutes. So, hey, if you're gonna lose, lose quickly. And then AMD, I played AMD twice today, although there was absolutely no gap and no real edge on AMD. Uh, I threw my R's away to the wolves anyway, and would have eventually been right on the trade but initially went long on AMD right here because this is the exact same price that I went long yesterday, 78.29, and got filled around here. It was actually profitable for a little bit in time and then lowered my stop, uh, got stopped out. Again, another wick out there on AMD. Decided to flip it bearish <laughs> and the bearish flip was because of the 15 minute chart. So if you look at the 15 minute chart, you'll notice, and if I just hide the drawings here for a second, we did have a beautiful hammer. We closed below that hammer. And so I shorted it below that hammer, expecting AMD to pretty much do exactly what it did. Now, the ironic part is if I had not gotten out early on AMD to lose small on the bear flip, I would have actually gotten stopped out anyway, wicked out specifically right here, only to see AMD roll over and almost hit a really, really nice target. So that was kind of lame. Uh, didn't play AMD super well. So I had two small losses on AMD. And then finally redeemed myself a little bit with a winning trade. So I did have a losing day today. Makes me not even worthy to wear this shirt, but I did play Spotify. I do feel really good about it. And this was a very, very obvious fade. Here was a bull candle that came in trapping some bears. Look at all this volume right here getting trapped. A lot of good volume, a lot of good bear candles, almost an inverted head and shoulders pattern on a five minute chart. So boom, 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 nice close. Uh, this purple line is the 100 simple on a daily. So bought a pullback and got really lucky. Somehow we nabbed almost the exact low. I mean, to the penny. 
The low is 22548, and our entry is 22582. Feel pretty good about that. So nice little win on Spotify. Uh, if I was around my computer, I could have right here, I would have increased the uh, target and increased the stop because, I mean, face it, we had all day to be in the trade. So I would have taken the stop um, up and I would have taken the target up. So my, my stop would have been here. I would have increased my target. And right there, I would have increased my target again to right here. And I would have increased my stop right here. But again, it wasn't by the computer, no big deal. And uh, bang, would have been a nicer win. Would have been a nicer win than what I had. But hey, still won on the trade, wasn't bad, but had a losing day in general on the day trades. So that was Spotify. And obviously a lot of people are talking about Snow, AKA Snowflake. What a perfect name for the stock for 2020. Here's what I can say on this particular company. If you're looking at playing Snowflake, the valuation's a little bit, uh, what's the word, high. Yeah, valuation's a little on the high side at 40 billion at IPO. It's, it's hot, it's hot. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna look for something like, th this is best case scenario on Snowflake. Something like that, best case scenario. Uh, other scenario is of course, you know, lower. Um, something more like this and that, and then we bounce. I do think that this stock will have a little bit of a dip. And at some point, I think that low 100, high 80 mark could be the spot to get in. Right now, I'm just waiting on this one. But as again, per my uh, buddy over there in California, Scott, his investing strategy, is that he buys a thousand dollars worth of every IPO at open. Uh, keep in mind, this is almost more than Google was when it IPO'd, uh, as far as the you know the actual share price, not necessarily the valuation, but yeah, pretty intense, pretty intense stuff. So I normally wait on IPOs. I can day trade anything, but I normally give IPOs two or three days to play out, and then I'll kind of look at swing trading them. You can day trade anything. Right here's the hourly chart. So for example, tomorrow morning, if we gap up to 280, you'll have some you know people that are trapped and you can look to go long. But yeah, I mean, in general, we can day trade pretty much anything. I normally like to wait two or three days after the IPO to really get in. Someone told me that if a stock IPOs on a Wednesday, that it will still be around the next Wednesday if you feel like trading it. So give it some time, it's not going anywhere. If you wanna make some money on it, great. Keep in mind the last few IPOs that everyone was super excited about, Lemonade's going to a million. No, actually, in fact, people pay 25 cents for Lemonade on the street corner. So Lemonade ran up and then ran down. Again, it looks a lot like what I think Snowflake will probably do. And then RKT, Rocket Man. All right, everyone wanna get in bullish on Rocket. And again, you can see the same rotation. Quick little hyper extension, nice little pullback. This is the meat of the move. That's when you can make some money and then we'll pull back to normalcy, it will chop around and we eventually might go higher. So anyway, a lot of time to trade. Folks, don't get wrapped up on IPOs. Don't be afraid, don't get FOMO. There's plenty and plenty and plenty of opportunities to catch in some lows on some pullbacks at some point. Do your research, find out what you like about the companies, find out what you don't like about the companies. Another one is Royalty Pharmace Pharmaceuticals. Remember this one, uh, for Royal Pharmaceuticals was supposed to be the hottest IPO in the world. And you'd had a gorgeous, gorgeous trade right here, nice candle, and you could have gotten in there, uh, stopped there, and you could have rode up for a quick three or four day move. That's fine, that's totally, totally reasonable. But after that, blah, 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 just getting absolutely murdered. Therefore, again, something like this, you wanna give some stocks some time, let it consolidate, let some price come in. I love trading nothing but candles, and I'll keep an eye on this one right now, but in general, yeah, this is another IPO that everyone thought was going to go to 470000 in a night. And, you know, it didn't because none of them do. It takes time. It takes consolidation. Airbnb is around the corner. That'll be a really fun IPO. We'll talk about that when it happens. But that's my thoughts on Snowflake, a.k.a. the year of 2020. <laughs> what a weird year it's been. Is it September? Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I will be back on Friday for a trade review where I pick one of the trades out there that you guys post. If you want to post a trade, give me an exact entry, stop, give me a chart, give me all the good details, post it in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy to review your trade. Thanks for being here. You rock. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade. Bye.